What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and to a, another video on Ethereum, um, which I'm not sure, I think we haven't covered Ethereum in, in quite some time. I mean, I used to cover Ethereum almost every day after that, that big drop the 10th of June. Um, now the last three days, I, I think I didn't cover it or, or the last, yeah, last three days, including today. So, so the, for like, Yesterday and the day before yesterday, I didn't cover it. The day before that, I think I did cover it. But doesn't matter. I wanted to update it again today because uh, we got quite a big drop. Ethereum definitely a drop down uh, two or two and a half percent more than Bitcoin. Um, pretty harsh, but Ethereum has been treated uh, or, or Ethereum has suffered quite a bit more than Bitcoin over the last weeks. And, and over the last week, it's actually still <clears throat> more bullish. Uh, than Bitcoin, but before that it, it suffered a lot and I think you all know that so um, Let's get into it. So, so what you can see on a four-hour time frame and, and, and we might actually switch to the to the one hour time frame But I'm not sure uh, but what you can see on the four-hour time frame. It's it's pretty clear, right? We just found resistance at that 50 EMA and started dropping again Before that we had a small bullish flag, which we might be able to see a little bit better on the one hour time frame here um, so we found resistance at the 200 EMA in the one hour time frame, pretty strong resistance level altogether, and the 50 EMA on the four hour time frame, which has proven to be a very strong resistance level as well over the last uh, months, to be honest. Um, in, in, in this whole bear market, that 50 EMA, that, that red line has been pretty strong. So what I expect now is now that we've dropped down below $1,100, is that I expect us to drop down to 1000 within the next days. Now we are at uh, 1080. I think we'll take a break retest of that level between 1090 and, and like 1110. So right there and then from there start to drop down. We might actually still find some support at 1050, but then just later on start to drop down to uh, 1020 uh, 1, and, and 1000. And there it actually gets more interesting because I think that there's basically two things that can happen. We can either get a strong touch or I think we'll get a strong touch off of a thousand. Um, but then, I mean, the, the best thing that could happen is that we actually hold 1000 for the next three days. If we can hold 1000 for the next next three days, then I also think that we can get back up to <clears throat> that level between 1150 and 1200 and basically consolidate between $1,100 uh, $1 and $1,000. I think that's the most bullish scenario right now. I am not really biased towards it, but but it's definitely possible. I mean, th this video is more of a price analysis than a price prediction. Um, just because I don't have a very clear bias on Ethereum yet. So I'm sorry for that, but um, I have to be honest with you and I'm not going to have a bias on something I don't believe in. So it's basically that. I think we'll drop down to 1000. Um, and we'll either find support on top of that, like strong support for the next few days. Then I think it could hold as a consolidation for a longer period of time, at least for the next week. But if we now drop down to 1000 and we just get a very small support touch off of it and we stay around that level, then I think it's more likely that we'll drop down to 900. And then at that 900, kind of try, try the same thing again. So see if we can actually consolidate on top of it. If we, again, don't find any support on top of it, we'll probably drop down to 750, right? We're still in the bear market. Uh, that's very realistic that that could happen. So from now, that would obviously be a very harsh drop. It would be like 30% down. So that would, wouldn't be in, in, yeah, 30%. So that wouldn't be in one, um, in, in like a few days, but um, something like that could definitely happen within a week. Um, and we've all seen that. We've all been been here. And this was, um, this was from, yeah, like this was in a week. We, from, in a week, we went down from 1800 to um, to like 1100 and 1000 a little bit later. So that was a 44% loss, right? So it's definitely possible. Um, but for now, it really depends on how we, we react at that 1000 level. If we don't really react at that level, it, it depends on how we, we react at 900. And I think that the chances of dropping down to 750 within the next week are relatively low. But I just wanted to prepare you for that, that, that it is possible. So um, yeah, that's basically my analysis on Ethereum for now. If you found it valuable, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, but for now, thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.